Developers get very clear view of how much of the savings and revenues can they generate during the design time. And the same things can happen in the operation side. Who would be using the, the software platform today? Like, what, what does your typical customer look like? A seamless, autonomous, agentic operations for any operators that are our asset and management. They can also get a benefit out of it. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. Today we're coming back to you from RE Plus, which is the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. This morning I'm joined by Young Chun Park from QCells, and we're going to be talking about QCells investment in solar software. So, Young Chun, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for taking Great. time to Thank uh, you for having me to speak with us. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're here at the QCells booth, and I know one theme that that we we, we keep seeing here is QCells wants to to really be able to own and contribute to several different aspects of the solar experience, not just the modules, but well, with inverters, battery storage, with financial products, also with, with software products as well. So can you explain to me a little bit, of what is, what is QCell's philosophy on solar software and helping to streamline the process of, of uh, developing a solar project? Great, great, thank you for asking. Um, where we QCell see the world is we hear a lot of customer feedback, installers and uh, project developers and so on. Their challenges has been around, there is a fragmented design tool, financial modeling tool, and also once those modeling are being implemented, control and commission the system, there is a very di distinct discrepancy between design and outcomes from the project. And also exercise of the how to streamline the design process from all the way through planning through the operation. There's a lot of software tools that involved and very complicated manual data translation from one tool to the other. So we try to solve these two problems. One, how we can give the more uh, accountable and guaranteed outcome-based software simulation upfront and pricing. Therefore, the project developers can actually have a more uh, reliable way to uh, 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 propose the customer. And second is outcome from those design, how we can execute in you know, our operation side and deliver the guaranteed outcomes of savings or revenues to the customer. So we developed the solutions like a QCell, um, the Insight and Predict. These are the two products that use the same optimization engines for both design and operation instead of two distinct ones. So eventually the developers get very clear view of how much of the savings and revenues can they generate during the design time, and the same things can happen in the operation side. That's how we see the world, and this is the products about that we're offering to you. And hope this gives you more streamlined operational business outcomes for our partners and installers. Excellent, excellent. Now, QCells acquired Jelly, was it, was it three years ago now? Uh, I believe so. Okay, okay. And so, who, who would be using the, the software platform today? Like, what, what does your typical customer look like? So, most of our customers are our installation partners, our project developers, okay. or uh, that's for both for the CNI spaces and the residential spaces. And uh, we still have uh, homeowner applications or actual owner's applications, so that we are offer both installers, but also the end customers can watch or monitor their system on their installations. Okay. Now you may, you mentioned about how disjointed the process is today. That there's there's a lot of manual human intervention that's required to go from one stage to the next to the next. How, how are most companies doing that today? So still a lot of installation and design and developers are using a lot of Excel in between tools. You think about and then your version has to be managed properly and a lot of I would say project handover. A data handover cost is so staggering, which is done a lot of manually. So we try to eliminate those processes to uh, automations and additional AI to help them out uh, transition into more informed. But that's what we're focused on. Excellent, excellent. Well, we're going to be excited to see how the technology develops. Uh, of course, QCells is a company that has really been dedicated to this idea of you know, everything under one roof, whether you're talking about your solar modules, your batteries, your, your app control, user level apps, your, your modeling apps, forecasting apps, but really being able to contribute to that solar ecosystem in many different ways. Great. Yep. Is, is there anything else that the audience should know about QCell's technology roadmap? Um, we're trying to more integrate with our end user customers in-house, but also uh, lots of 
additional physical AI capability at the edge to make sure that uh, on-site generation and optimizations can be done autonomously. And any system we manage has an air gap, so autonomous can be done. And then a seamless autonomous agentic operations for any operators that are our asset and management, they can also get a benefit out of it. So end-to-end uh, -end ecosystem, fully integrated with the hardware and software together. And that's the way we're heading forward. Great. Well, folks, this has been a chat with Young Chun Park from QCells. Young Chun, thank you for taking thank time thank you. to thank speak you with me us. and our audience today. Uh, and folks, thank you for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. Uh, but that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.